eat paint. Hey folks, welcome to another Print and Paint Kickstarter countdown. I have 18 campaigns to share with you this week, so let's get right into it. V Commandos Deluxe, expansion to the popular board game with minis by Triton Noir of Canada, their fifth Kickstarter campaign. V Commandos, infiltration, combat, sabotage. Be the stealthiest heroes of World War II with minis. There are two mini sets. One for the core box, including 5 commandos and 45 enemies, all infantry, and a second set for the expansion includes 6 commandos and 29 enemies, including dogs and mini tanks. There are about 5 different tiers for those who already have the game and just want new content, and for those just getting into it. This campaign ends on April 16th, with rewards expected in March of 2022. Admiral Apocalypse's Project, printable bases and more from Admiral Apocalypse of Switzerland, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes two groups of bases, Abandoned World and Environmental Plane, both divided into two groups of three. There is also a Fossilized Skull and a Ghost Pepper. You can get some of the bases, or all of the bases, and there is also a commercial license available. This campaign ends on May 27th, with rewards expected in September. Project Apocalypse, Print Ready Minis for the End Times by Sismansky of Germany, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes 13 post-apocalypse themed warriors fighting for scraps in the wastes. Stretch goals include 20-ish more minis just waiting to be unlocked. You can get the whole set plus stretch goals, with or without pre-supported files. This campaign ends on April 25th, with rewards expected the same month. Random Dungeon Encounters 8 D&D inspired metal minis from Paul Smith of the United Kingdom, their ninth Kickstarter campaign. This set includes 8 minis, an Eye Tyrant, Bugbear, a Bug Hulk, two Mummy, Were Rat, Brain Flayer, a Hobgoblin, and a Magma Imp. In the United Kingdom, you can get just the first three or just the remaining five, and worldwide you can just get all eight. This campaign ends on April 18th, with rewards expected in September. Wargame Base Toppers Printable or Cast Resin Bases by Zabavka Workshop of Belarus, their second Kickstarter campaign. This set includes more than 100 different base toppers from over 10 different themes, including hex tiles, roads, sewers, pirate ships, cargo, lava, graveyard, and starship, with unlocked stretch goals like urban ruins, rocky landscape, gothic ruins, and more. You can get all the files digitally, or physically, you can get one, four, or eight sets of bases. This campaign ends on April 20th, with rewards expected in May and August. Lasting Tales, cooperative miniatures game and fantasy minis set by Blacklist Games of the United States, their ninth Kickstarter campaign. This set includes 10 heroes and a whole bunch of enemies. Though there is only one sculpt of each, there are 5 goblins, kobolds, orcs, skeletons, and gnolls, all archers, as well as wraiths, wormlings, hobgoblins, mimics, giant snakes and scorpions, and town guard. There's about 50 stretch goals and most of them are heroes, but there are some sets of 5 monsters in there too. You can get the minis with or without the book, and you can also get them with their first set of fantasy minis. This campaign ends on April 20th, with rewards expected in April of 2022. The Lighthouse, digital building and minis by Imagination Forge Games of the United States, their second Kickstarter campaign. This set includes a multi-part lighthouse building and two caretakers, as well as a bit of scatter terrain. 
Stretch goals promise more scatter terrain and seaside ruffians. You can get the lighthouse, the minis, both together, and there are also commercial licenses available, as well as a limited number of pre-printed sets for the United States only. This campaign ends on April 20th, with rewards expected by May. Overlords 3 Kraken Spawn Multi-part resin alien miniatures by Kraken Games of the United Kingdom, their 37th Kickstarter campaign. New models include the Overlord Shogarch and the Overlord Vespid Queen. Previous Overlords and other models are available as add-ons, and they suggest swapping limbs between them to create your own weird and wonderful creatures. Two tiers, one for the Shogarch and one for the Vespid Queen. Everything else is add-ons. This campaign ends on April 9th, with rewards expected in May. Deep Nothing Portal, digital download with pay-what-you-want pricing by August McDaniel of the United States, their seventh Kickstarter campaign. The intro says it all. This portal, to whatever nether realm you would like, can be yours to print at an extremely reasonable rate. A minimum of $1 gets you the file, and a minimum of 3 gets you merchant's rights, but you can pay more if you like. This campaign ends on April 9th, with rewards expected in May. Myths of Valor Retribution An Unholy Printable Knight by JLS Character Designs of the United States Their first Kickstarter campaign Retribution is the eldest of three slain sons of the first man, Lucian. Resurrected by dark means into the Knights of Anathema, they go on to slay many dwarves, then abandon their revolting populace in favor of a mysterious dwarven vault they've found. You can get Retribution either pre-supported or unsupported. This campaign ends on April 29th, with rewards expected in May. Talisman Saber Terrain Printable X-based terrain tiles by Talisman Saber Terrain of the United States, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is three different sets of terrain, dungeon, outdoor, and cave. Each set includes multiple sets of floor tiles as well as wall tiles, column tiles, and others specific to the set. You can get any of the three sets individually or all three together. This campaign ends on April 30th, with rewards expected in May. Bobby's Baddies and Bootnecks Modern 28mm Miniatures from Anthelonica Games of the United Kingdom Their first Kickstarter campaign. This campaign includes four groups, one based on French armed police, one set of private military contractors or bad guys, one set of armed civilians, twins to civilians they already sell, as well as a set based on Israeli border police. You can get any of the sets individually, or all of them together, and you can also get other minis from their line. This campaign ends on April 30th, with rewards expected in August. Land of the Bunny Folk Printable Rabbit Friends from King Veer Design of Sweden, their first Kickstarter campaign. There is Mr. and Miss Knight, a commander with a mustache, warriors, an archer, a mage, and a farmer, with more in the stretch goals. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a merchant's license. This campaign ends on April 25th, with rewards expected in May. King Behemoth and Others, Resin Cast Minis by DDF Models of Italy, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set has three heroes and two titans. For the heroes, there's a Beastman Lord, a Fawn Druidus, and Zula the Night Terror. The titans include King Behemoth and Queen Titania. You can get any of them individually, just the heroes, just the Titans, or all of them together. This campaign ends on April 18th, with rewards expected in September. Multi-Part Giants Old School Metal Cast 
28mm minis by Satanic Panic Miniatures of the United Kingdom, their seventh Kickstarter campaign. This one is only concept art so far, but if you look at their previous campaigns, you can see their sculptor is quite skilled. This collection of legs, torsos, weapons, arms, and heads will look pretty much as you see them here. You can get one random giant, one bespoke giant with parts of your choice, or the whole set so you can assemble as you please. You can also pick up some goblins from a previous campaign. This campaign ends on June 1st with giants expected in November and goblins in June. Zodiac Miniatures Printable Zodiac themed miniatures by Juan Lerma of Mexico, their 12th Kickstarter campaign. The core of this set includes 12 Dark Zodiac minis, evil versions of Zodiac creatures you are familiar with. Stretch goals include Bestial Zodiac and Beauty Zodiac minis. You can get Just Your Sign, All 12 Signs, All 12 Plus Stretch Goals, and there are Merchant's Rights available as well. This campaign ends on May 2nd, with rewards expected in July. Realms of the Dark Emperor Resin Cast Fantasy Minis by Ridgeback Games of Germany, their 7th Kickstarter campaign. This is quite a few different sets of minis. There are soldiers, assassins, guards, cavalry, goblins, butchers, orcs, and more, as well as some civilians and human mercenaries, and some bigger golems and mounted units. Each set has their own price, and the tiers just allow you to pick what you like with some savings if you spend more. This campaign ends on April 8th, with rewards expected in November. The Holy Monks, Monastic Resin Minis by Hayland Terrain of the United Kingdom, their 22nd Kickstarter campaign. This set includes seven monks, six of them holding planks and one with a flag. I'm unable to tell if they're printed resin or cast resin. Just one tier for everything? This campaign ends on April 17th with rewards expected in June. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.